loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on nude lipsticks for brown and deep skin tones. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I have quite a few products that I want to show you all, but before we get into the video, if after watching the video, you decide you like my content, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. So during this video, I'm going to have lip liners, lip glosses, and liquid lipstick as well as the regular kind of lipsticks. I will be mixing them and just a lot of things. So first I'm going to show you all the lip liners that I have and then I'm gonna go into showing you the lip combos and the lip liner combos, just all of the good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have some lip liners and some lipsticks, lip glosses that are pretty much my go-to. Typically, anytime I do a look, especially if it's a bold look, I'm going to pair some type of nude. It could be a cool tone or a warm tone. It just varies. So I have a total of eight lip liners that I wanted to quickly show you, and these are pretty much my go-to nude. And for the most part of it, when I think nude, I'm thinking of a shade that's near my skin tone or almost my skin tone with a hint of brown so I don't really have a lot of uh, pinky nudes or mauvey nudes or anything like that in my opinion these are pretty much nudes in the sense of trying to get it as close to my skin tone as possible so I want to start off by showing you all these two lip liners these are gel lip liners by Sephora and the first shade that I want to show you all is rosewood and these gel lip liners are so awesome i love them to death so i'm gonna try to do some big swatches so you all can see so this is rosewood and here's the next one that i have and this one is knock on wood so these lip liners are very nice. Again, they're gel lip liners. You don't have to sharpen them. You can kind of screw them in at the bottom. Really nice. I also have two Morphe lip liners and one is Toast and I really like this one. I use this one a lot. So this one is Toast. The next one that I have by Morphe is trendsetter and this one is deeper so i think this one would really go well if you have a deeper skin tone here it is right here as you can see it's like a deep chocolate the next one that i have is by jordana and this is their easy liner for lips coco loco this one's really pretty too and here it is right here very very pretty now this next one is actually a lipstick, but I like to use it as a lip liner. And this is the NYX Lingerie Push Up. This is what it looks like. And let me swatch this. And this one is really minty. And I'm not sure if all of them are like that one like this one but yeah you get a very minty type of vibe when you wear this one and then the next one that i have is by nyx and this is mason this one's a really pretty one too here it is right here and as you can see a lot of them look very similar but they do have different undertones as you can see if you look at them really closely and the next one that i have is taupe now, when I wear a taupe, I pretty much put this all over my lip and put a gloss over it because you're not even going to be able to see it because it's like, to me, it's reading a real nude on my skin tone. There is taupe, but it does have like a cool undertone. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and get to it. All right, so the first one that I have is by Huda and this is Last Night. So here it is. This is how I would wear this, you know, normally. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and add a lip liner to it so you can see what it looks like with the lip liner. And the one that I'm gonna add is Trendsetter. And as you can see, this goes on really well. So here it is. This is Last Night with Trendsetter and I think it's really pretty. Okay, I have another one by Huda and this is in board meeting. This is another nude one that I would typically just wear by itself without a liner. And I feel as though these lipsticks are really pigmented. So here's board meeting without a lip liner. And now I'm going to add toast as a liner. Thank you. 
And here is Board Meeting with Toast as a lip liner. I think that these pair really well together because I feel as though the undertone is the same. All right, so now I'm gonna pair a liquid lipstick with a gloss. And I'm gonna use a Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick as the liner. And I'm gonna go in with this I Heart Revolution I Heart Chocolate and Honeycomb as the inner part of the lip. So I'm just gonna line the lips with this one. All right, so I got that done and now I'm gonna go in with honeycomb and apply this right here. And these are so nice. They're so pigmented and they smell like chocolate. And I just think that this makes a beautiful nude. All right, so here you go. Here is the combo with the liquid lipstick and the lip gloss, really pretty. And you don't, if you decide to use a liquid lipstick, you don't have to uh, make the line or put as much. You could just do a thinner line when you outline your lips and then you'll have more of the lighter shade to put on. But these two colors make a beautiful combination and I really love it. All right, so this next one is a liquid lipstick by Stila. I love Stila's lip products, by the way. And this is in the shade Biscotti. I normally wouldn't wear a lip liner with this one either, but I am going to show you what it looks like with a lip liner. So here it is without a lip liner, and as you can tell, it's leaning more to a cooler tone, but it's still really pretty. Now, the liner that I'm gonna add with this one would be Trendsetter. Now here it is with the lip liner. And as you can see, it does make the lip a little bit deeper, but what I would also do to this is add a gloss to it. Now I do have a really pretty gloss, and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the shade Citrine. So I'm gonna add this. And I know that we are skirting into the realm of brown when you add the lip liner, but I really do feel as though this combination would go really good with a deeper skin tone. And you don't always have to add a gloss. That's just kind of me being extra. All right, so next I have two lipsticks by KKW, and this one is in number six. I really do like her lipsticks. Some people don't like them, some people do. Uh, and I feel as though this is a really nice nude. It would really be good for a deeper skin tone, but either way, if you're lighter, uh, brown skin or deeper, this is a really pretty shade. This next one that I have is another one by KKW, and this is in the shade number four. This one is lighter than the one that I showed you, and this is another one that I wear without a lip liner. I find that these lipsticks are very long lasting. Now, I do have to say that these do have a funny taste. If you know you put too much on and some of it gets in your mouth that is kind of annoying to some people but other than that I really like these plus these are very long lasting all right so I have another Stila one and this is Fia in their liquid lipstick this one is so pretty this is another one that I like to wear without a lip liner So this would be one of the ones that I consider a true nude, almost my skin tone. But for the sake of the video, I am going to add a liner. I'm gonna add rosewood to this one. Before I add it, I just want to make note of, look how pretty and matte that it dries, this liquid lipstick. It's just so pretty. And I just think that rosewood pairs really well.
So here it is. This is Fia with Rosewood as the lip liner. So it's not much. It's not that dark, that darker. It's just to give you a little bit more depth to the lip. But I think that this is so pretty. All right. So this next one is going to be a cool tone lipstick, but I'm going to mix it with a warmer tone gloss. And this would be Boss Brown by Black Radiant. And again, it kind of has a cool tone. Y'all see that? But I'm gonna add a warm tone gloss to it. And this is by LA Colors. And this is in a Snuggle. These are so pretty, guys. And again, this is something that I would wear without a lip liner. It's just pretty. Y'all let me know if y'all feel like with every nude, um, now if it's too light, of course, you have to wear a, a lip liner, but I feel like shades that are closer to your skin tone, I don't think you necessarily need a liner. Let me know what you all think. If I can, I'll put a poll up above and I want you all to take it. All right, so the next combo that I'm gonna use is this NYX lipstick, but again, you all, I use it most of the time as a lip liner, and I'm gonna go ahead and line my lip. So I have that line, and then next I'm gonna go in with this really light shade, and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in Undressed. And that's pretty much it. And of course, if you want it lighter, you just add a little bit more. All right, so here you have it. The lip uh, lipstick, which I use as a lip liner by NYX, and this is in Teddy, and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills in Undressed. It's really pretty, very pretty. And if you're lighter, you can use this alone. And if you're a deeper than me, you can just use more of the lip liner and less of this shade. All right, so next I'm gonna use this combo. This lip liner is by Jordana in Loco Coco, no, Coco Loco. And this is by L'Oreal in Eva's Nude. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lip liner. All right, got that applied. Now I'm gonna go in with Eva's Nude. And that's it. That is really, really pretty. I really like how this looks. And the pigmentation is pretty decent. You all know I have dark lips and it covered it up. You can still see the dark spots on my lips and things like that before, but that's only if you're super close and under a lot of light. But I think this is a really good combo. All right, so the next combo that I have is the new Maybelline lip glosses paired with this uh, NYX lip liner in taupe. So what I'm gonna do is apply this all over my lip and then I'm gonna apply this one one over it and this one is another situation where I'm mis mixing cool tones with warm tones all right so now that I have that applied I'm gonna go in with the lip gloss and put that all over and there you have it that is a pretty on the go nude that if you're my skin tone, you don't need a lip liner, but if you feel more comfortable, you can definitely pair it with a lip liner. All right, so next I have a lipstick and this is a Revlon nip lipstick in Nude Fury. And I'm going to use Trent's, uh, what is this? This is Toast as the lip liner. So let me go ahead and add Toast. And here is Nude Fairy. And this is another really, really pretty nude. And here you go, Nude Fairy paired with Toast. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. I could go on and on and on. Let me know if you all are interested in a part two of something like this and I'll definitely get it up for you all. Let me know what's your favorite nude combo. Which one did you like best out of everything that I showed here tonight? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.